It's Tony, Lil Wayne here, and this is another installment of Young Money Radio. Let's get it. This is Young Money Radio. Young Moolah, baby. With the very best in music, collab, and sports. Tunchi, Lil Wayne on Apple Music. Okay, me and this man, we go way back. You already know, listen, he's a multi-platinum Grammy-nominated artist, entrepreneur with a zillion hits out there. And y'all already know we collaborated a trillion times, and we got that brand new out there right now. So give it up for my motherfucking brother, Titan. So first, what you did in Vegas for your birthday party? Because I'm not telling him what I did, so. <laughs> Vegas, what we do? That was, that was, uh, damn. That's, it's, like, it's, all, it's all a blur now, but mm-hmm. we did. We rented the uh, strip club out, like, late. Which one? So, uh, we did Rhino. Okay. So I had it from, like, 3 to, like, 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. It was there. Just dead, just everybody, partying. Everybody pulled up. It was it was a vibe. It was mm-hmm. fun. Good. Yeah. I think uh, when I went out there, I, I had went out there once for uh, CB had a party in some room with like a basketball court and all with that. The palms. Yeah. yeah. I had never seen that shit before, so I just went and got that again for my birthday. Yeah. But I ain't, I ain't have half of the fun that CB had when he was in there. I just went in there and recorded, actually, truthfully. Vegas always Vegas yeah. always a good time. Yeah. I can't believe they charged that much for that room with such a terrible view. The view in that room sucks. Yeah, because it's all it's all the way at the end of the strip. Yeah, it's see, like you gotta the the view is not a view. With the, we, even with that said, you don't even get to, the view is just the the roof. You're on the. I guess they must have put that room somewhere in a corner or something. So the view is just the roof of the building. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you can't see nothing but the roof of the. It building. ain't nothing but what the basketball court in there. Yeah, right. they got like a little locker room as if, you know, like for like a basket room, basketball mm-hmm. locker room type of shit. But um, Mac had said that we've been in there before. Because, you know, um, we've been, we used to fuck with them, uh, the, the Malus and shit. Yeah, so he said we've been in there before. You know, I got a horrible memory, so I don't remember that shit. What's your predictions for the rest of the season? Football or basketball? Football. Both. Both. <sighs> Who, who's your team in, in basketball? It's crazy because I don't really got a team like that. I like I, I just I rock with the Lakers and LeBron. I always stay with like LA teams, but I'm more like players. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I'm never like crazy with with teams. What team like, exactly? Well, football. Growing up, I was always like a Buccaneers fan. Okay, like, just like always. But oh. now I'm why? Just, I don't know. I just, just like they used to be good. Like their defense was really good when, when I was, was young. This? I used when to play. This? this was like. When they had Warren Sapp, they or did. We did win the Super Bowl. You talking about when they had time. Warren Sapp? Warren okay. Sapp. Got you, got you. You know what I'm saying? Simeon Rice, like all them, all them dudes. But uh, yeah, because right before them, and, yeah, and all, be, all they whole history <laughs> before was them. Horrible. Yeah, exactly. I was trying we to figure had out one year was though. About. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's when they played the Raiders. And I remember wearing a Buccaneers jersey. I was walking to the store, and I remember like. You know, I grew up with like a lot of like Mexicans around me and everybody had on Raider jersey and I was walking down to the store. I was probably like 12, 11 and I had a Buccaneers jersey. I just remember people yelling at me and shit when I was walking to the store. That was crazy. You knew how, that let you know how real it was. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Buccaneers, dang. So that that was Chucky too. Chucky was the coach. John Gruden. John Gruden, yeah. Chucky, yep. Yeah. I think that's the only one he got too. Yep. Yeah. That's interesting, man. I like the Niners, and I like, um, I mean, I like I like Baltimore right now, too. Okay. I like Baltimore right now. We'll see, though. Some people think that might be the Super Bowl. Baltimore Niners and Baltimore. Baltimore and 49ers. What yeah. you think? That ain't who I got in the Super Bowl, but I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised at all. If you see that's Chiefs who, going? That's that's who I have in there. As far as, far as the AFC, that's mm-hmm. who I have in there. You know, it's hard to knock them to not put them in there automatically until they get knocked out of that motherfucker. Especially when they get down to it. They've been here before. So. Yeah, come yeah. on, man. Yeah. Actually, I got them and the Eagles in it again. Yeah, I'm I not. like that. So the album with YG, okay. Hit me yeah. when you leave the club. Yeah. Loop, what, that's, what that? That was just a vibe we did just for like LA for the West Coast. It was more like a playlist. And it was just like some party shit with some fun shit. Because we were supposed to do it back in 2019. And it was just, it was too much going on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And like, we couldn't, we, could, we couldn't just focus and just lock in and finish it. So I was like, we should just do this now, get it out the way. So like I, I can get to my project, you can get to your project, exactly. you know what I mean? Yeah. How, how was it working with the homie? It was easy. I felt like it's like working with you or working with Chris. I always yeah. say like you and Chris is my top. You know, like getting in the studio is easy. easy like yeah. When you know somebody, you know like you can hear a certain beat, you know how somebody going to flow to it, yeah. how their tone going to be. So yeah. well, YG was easy because... 
you know, we make a lot of the similar records as far as like some of the club West Coast mm-hmm. same tempo. So I just know one for I just know one for YG. He got that he got that energy. Yeah, yeah, he got that. He bring that energy to the success of the single brand new. What's next? Yeah, so shit was what's next. Um, I got my project, then I got a couple. I don't know what I want to do yet as far as singles wise. I just wanted to get out, get that out the way, sit and just really like see what I want to do next. You know what I'm saying? They got that. They got that part that I ain't gonna front. I think it's either in, in, in a brand the song brand new. I think it's either before my verse or after my verse. It's cool for it to sound like. So I'm saying that to say that it kind of sound like that it, it's talking about me. But this new part. Yeah, that's oh. cool and all that for it. But <laughs> nah, man, I need y'all to understand. He re- subtract me from that situation. They, this man, this man, Tiger, that's who nigga talking about, man. This man don't fucking miss, man. I took me and <laughs> I Mac for the best, man. Bro, me and, nah, bro, me and, nah, fuck that. Nah, I love nah, the nigga, best, I put though. out something that don't, that don't hit. <laughs> now, you put out the one that this nigga don't miss, man. Me and Mac, we call you, we would always be like, yeah, that's the nigga, Flo Rida. West Coast Flow for Rider. Sure. He got hits, for that sure. Way, for real, you know, yeah. you know, in it, Flow Rider and, uh, what's, my, what's the hunt, Pitbull. Whatever you know, whatever that, that you might, I might, it's gonna, I might not understand. With, with, I might not know what the hell people are talking about, mm. but the people who do, yeah, yeah, it's a sure. lot of them, sure. <laughs> yeah, and they rock with it. So and you already know flow. Whatever he do, I tell him every time. Okay, you got a lot of samples on this one from like previous club bangers and shit. What, what's the thought behind that? Um, the sample, I, I feel like it's just it's familiar when people hear something that's that's familiar, but yeah. not. They don't know where it's from. I feel like it's always good to to put stuff in like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like something that you remember, you just not remember. You just don't remember. What yeah, you it's not. At. It's not too like out there to where it's obvious, but it's like, damn, I heard that before, exactly. and it just resonates. And, and then you know, you got that a good hook, you got a good flow. Like it's just things people just remember. Yeah. You know what I mean? They play it over. I mean, not, not the samples. Period. That's the. That's kind of. That's the. That's a West Coast history. That's the background. Cause I, you know, when I think of sample, any song when I hear a sample in the song, first thing I think of is Snoop or Dre. Dr. Dre. That's yeah, how, that's how he started. Cause exactly. he was a DJ. So yeah, all his shit was samples. Exactly. You know I mean? They got. I got. You know, you and I know they got producers that just use that use samples and everything. Mm-hmm. As soon as I hear that shit, I be thinking of Dre. You know what I mean? Honestly, I just like making music that I know I'm, I I want to perform or shit that I want to hear nah, or with, ride to. You know. Like first of all, he ain't even. He don't. Tiger don't even need to sample you no know, old club bangers to bring because cl- everything he does every song he like any song he does is gonna be a club banger it's gonna be something that them bitches could dance to mm-hmm. and niggas could say i mean niggas but in the club gonna keep playing the radio gonna keep playing it you right. gonna hear that bitch on the commercial too you know what i mean that's them type of joints mm-hmm. what's your formula for longevity <clears throat> oh um, we been you just told him we've been you've been in shit since 17 and you already stand, stand in the studio exactly you know what i mean like i feel like watching you that was the first time that, like you said, I had ever been on tour, on like a tour bus or anything like that, really moving around. And, and to have so much going on, have success going on, shooting videos, but wherever we was at, you would make sure like, we going to the studio tonight. <laughs> All right, we got a show, we in Buffalo tonight. We gonna get off stage, he gonna rock 20,000 people. He got the studio right after, and if we can't <laughs> go to the studio, we got the studio bus. Oh, bus, yeah. Hell so yeah. It, was, it, it was just more like, it was just the work ethic, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Just staying consistent and and um, staying obsessed with it and, and loving it. I feel like a lot of people fall out of love with it, and that's why motherfuckers fall off or people just aren't as consistent mm-hmm. or, or not as tapped in. Like, you know, it ain't even about, like, for the money it's or, the like, none of, it's just the love. love. It's just it's the support the of the, you know what I mean? Because I get doing that. It. I get what's, what's interesting about that, what you're saying about the love, I get it from two people that's not rappers. And so, you know, I get it from Slim and Baby. The hustle. They just the studio love. every day. Slim ain't about to rap a bar. Baby right. about to come in there and try when he feel like it. And nine times out of ten, he about to ask one of us to, man, write this, write this, write this. He going to switch a few words to say, say how he want to say it. So with that said, I used to always sit back and ask myself, like, because well, they ain't used to, they ain't setting, they wasn't setting studio time up just for the artist to be there. And they, they there. But they was there. There, all Thousand hours we there, they there. So I used to sit back and like, what the hell, Slim? And it, it was more so Slim. I used to be like, why is Slim here so much? Like, why? Because we here writing. So I, he want to hear the verse when you finish, right? Before it go on, he want to hear what you got, Wayne. He going to check it like a coach. It's the office. Like a coach on mm-hmm. it. Like a coach going at, you know, you watch a coach, a football coach at practice. 
every they got different sections of players doing different things, workouts and all that. He, you see him walk and tap one on the on the head and sit there and say a few words to him, go to the other lineman. Or, that's kind of like what they would do. And so I was like, you know what? That's simply they love it. They love it. They love it that much. You know what I mean? Like they love it that much because if they didn't, they wouldn't care what the hell we were saying. You know what I mean? They wouldn't care about what the hell we were saying. They wouldn't want to hear. He wouldn't want to hear that shit. For real. You know what I mean? We might want to hear it when it's all the way finished. But shit, as far as coming, what you saying? You probably don't want to change that to this. Uh, you used to call a nigga over there, Joe, come here with you, right? Come here, this. Like, I used to be like, damn, they really love it. And that's where I get that shit from. I'm glad you got the same shit from me. Yeah. I just remember them hit factory nights. Like, studio, your studio here, we over here working, getting tatted. Other side, <laughs> Birdman over there on the other side. They over there. They, you know what I'm saying? Might not even be recording, but they over there. They over there. What, yeah. what y'all working on? I'm working on this. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like that's what. That's the energy that, you know, that's the energy that you got to keep. And that's why we see, like, you know, like you said, a, a Young Money or a Rockefeller or, mm-hmm. or Cash Money. Like, you see those because those people stay consistent. They have that energy around them. You know what I mean? That's why when you asked me, that's why I told you when I got the room, that room, if I said I ain't do nothing but record in it. And I feel like the first time uh, I came out there was, I think, Atlanta, and you was working on a Millie. I think you was working on a Millie, I believe. And it was at Hot Beats. And I just remember, like, I didn't know, like, I didn't know what was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, is he going to ask me, like, do you want to write something to this or nothing? So right. I was just like, let me just stay ready, just have stuff in my phone, because you just never know. Yeah. And then I remember you, you you finished your part, and you was just like, y'all got something for this? You got something, go go put it on. And that's how it was. It was just like, just kind of stay ready. And just when, when we here, we not... We not here just like not doing nothing. Exactly. Like this is this an office, it's a lab, it's you know Also it was important for me on like you take like you say, like a song like a Millie, it was important for me to never look at nothing as, Oh, this I gotta put this, this mine. This the this my sing, I gotta put this y'all ain't knowing this one. So just for just for the simple fact of y'all knowing that, man, everything is wide open, everything is you know what I mean, it's just you gotta take your spot, you gotta make sure you hold your spot. And so what I learned a lot about Tiger was that was so different from the other artists was whenever it came to time to be ready, he was always ready. Already. So it was always, so what I would always notice was I would think it was because we wasn't in L.A. I always thought that was like, I think it's because we're not in L.A. He don't have nothing. I mean, he's so focused. Right. He don't have nothing else to distract him. Also, also I thought that whatever we were so far, I, thought, I would think that we so far in the South, we so far away from what he, what he used to. That he he can't get interested in none of this. Nothing, nothing. I mean, he can't do nothing but be more. Nothing is more important than his verses. Right. You know what I mean? His songs. So that's why I would always think like, I already know Tiger ready. I already know he got a verse. Not even Tiger got a song ready. Got a hook ready. I already know this. That was a, that was that's a great thing to know that I could rely on too. It seemed like you still on <laughs> you still on that way. <laughs> still on still that on way. That way. <laughs> <For> real. <laughs> All right, fatherhood. How has that changed you, and informed the music that you make? I don't think too much in the music that I make. I feel right. like I think, but I, I think as far as like my lifestyle, because mm-hmm. I feel like the lifestyle in your life, that, that spills over to the music. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's all one. Um, I don't think it's changed the, the, the music as much though, but as yes. father has ch- changed me, I feel like it's made me uh, just more aware, just more of patient. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like you just, just more intentional and just the people around you, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you ain't just like you not running wild and not thinking about like shit. If I gotta go home or what this person doing, it's like you yeah. know, it's yeah, a, yeah. You it's know, you got people dip. that actually um, look up to you and actually de- do depend on you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. Yeah, wait till you get to 25, yo. Wait till you get your 25. 25. Yeah. My son, like, my son just turned 11. Yeah, wait till they're 25 and they asking you for a vacation house. The, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that How about studio. that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You achieved that life, brother. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you wait. <laughs> he said, "You wait." He said, "It's coming." <laughs> Just call me. I got all the answers, yeah. man. All the answers. I've been through it. What you think about the Super, them having us at the Super Bowl? I think it's perfect. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's gonna be great because I've seen. I. I think I probably seen Usher show probably six, seven times now in Vegas. Oh, you saw? I, I saw. I seen the first residency uh, that he did, and I and I noticed the difference when he first started to now, and how more mm. just more 
poised and how, how more like sharp he is now and how bigger the stage is. And you could just tell like he's just way more confident in his moves and stuff now because he in his third, fourth residency now in Vegas. So <sighs> for the Super Bowl, that's that's going to be easy for that's him. That's going to be easy for him, dude. That's, he, see, that's, he, he already, he ain't got to get it. He already in shape. You know what I'm saying? He already see, tuned I up. See, I ain't know that. Yeah. Damn. So he been he been doing Vegas for like I think the last two and a half years. Artists out there. Yeah. Artists out there. If you don't have a a goal up, that's what you want. You want to be when you when you good and you want to be able to get you a, a Vegas residency and you killing it and you on your third year and then the Super Bowl get you a cut, NFL call you like yeah Vegas. we want Super you to Bowl. do the Super Bowl halftime like that's what you want man. Super Bowl in New Orleans coming up too. I'm not sure what year was it twenty five. Next, next yeah, 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 you know, I'm just letting yeah. them. You know, I'm just, I was just letting. Oh, them they know, they know I'm, who they got to call. I'm from New Orleans, I was just letting them off from New Orleans. They, was, they know who was, they got to call. For I that. was born there, so <laughs> you know, just letting them know. I'm not sure if they knew that I am from New Orleans. So yeah, only one way to do it. I should look just like John Morant, daddy too. <laughs> he do. Nah, I saw them together. That's crazy. You know, like I, I sometimes, you know, I always see it on the picture, and I saw them live together. I was like, nah, that's not right. <laughs> I was like, bro, I was like I think they could, they could fool, they could fool each other's each other's family. That's, That's how much crazy. they look like each other. Man. It was really crazy. What you got coming up next? Shit, we just gonna keep it. You know, we gonna keep it element of surprise. You yeah, know? you know, yeah, you know. I remember when you would put a single out, and as far as hip hop, the world stopped for you. Mm -hmm. The hip hop world stopped for you because such and such. It ain't had to be me. Whoever it is, such and such put a single out today. We all, if you're a hip hop fan, we all have to listen to it sure. just to yeah and nay it. Just to say if we like it or not, you have to listen to it, though. Mm -hmm. And if you do like it, then you buy it, and that's how it goes on. Now, though, it's just so much shit. my little brother or your little homie. You know, they can put out a song right now on their own, just on Insta, however you want to put it mm -hmm. out. And don't, if don't let it pop off, don't let them got a little bop to it, and TikTok right. going to jump on it, and we done. <laughs> you know what I mean? We trying, to get, we trying to get a deal. And yeah. actually, actually... We getting paid, so we doing like the NIA, like the, like the athletes doing. I didn't, I didn't saw. I mean, some of them, some of these artists, that's their mantra. I'm not signing to a label. I'm not signing a deal because I'm making so much money doing what I'm doing the way I'm doing it. I don't want nobody. I don't want the big, the big guys to get involved and take my money. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, wow, that did not exist. Yeah, it should change now. What? Now, because it's so oversaturated and and, and and things are so quick. You know what I mean? Like you do have to make sure if you put something out, it's got to cut through or be impactful. Or the timing got to be right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the timing with everything, you got to put it out, boom, right there. Then you see that? You know? And that right there, that that take he just gave on that is all because he's he done this way before there was a social media. Because if you ask another artist that that's, that didn't do it before that, that's not going to be the answer. They not. There's no such thing as perfect timing. The time is now. <laughs> the time, as soon as we finish the joint, as a matter of fact, we're going to have a homie recording us record the song. And we're going to put that out, too. And then we're going to put the song out. Then gonna, that's how they do these days. So you be, I'll be like, what the? Uh, where's the Where's the lead up? Where's the doom doom? Where's the crescendo? Where, you know what I mean? Like, get, let, like make me, like make me, but I guess. So I don't, con I try to, con so my, my whole theory on that is, I don't, you already know, I don't listen to, it's not that I don't choose to listen to nobody, it's just that I record so much, I have no nothing else to listen to but what I just recorded. I'm editing, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. mentally and however, whatever. So with that said, to this day, I still just shoot. So what I call it is I'm just shooting, and I just shoot my shot without knowing what the what's the new trend. I don't know what's the new thing that's being said. I might have heard it once or twice from my kids and I take it as soon as I hear it now. As soon as I hear something, I'm gonna take because I know that I'm not I'm not savvy. Supposed I'm not social media savvy at all. You know what I mean? So the only I, only thing I learn new is if it comes on, on you know on sports wise. If they say something that I know ain't got nothing to do with sports, mm -hmm. and may I know that may be something trending or something like that, then I may look it up just to make sure I know what's going on about that, and I might want to use it in my song or, or something. Other than that, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what what's the new what's the hottest song. I don't know if I don't know what's the hottest songs. I don't know what's the hottest video. I don't know what to wear. So what I do is I have so much faith and so much trust in my ability that I go in my my hole, I create, and I shoot my shot and hope it stick. But that's why you original. That's why you the goat. That's why you you stay you. And I feel like 
that's the only thing that we're missing now is a lot of originality that sticks and and people that can be icons in 10 years and 15 years because yeah. now it's so quick it's like because also like nobody's developing artists no more you know what i'm mm. saying like we I was yeah, grateful enough to have. Yeah, this oh, is I could a, be around. This is a. This, this is always. This is still. It's, it's no a art. Camp. It's yeah. a, still a camp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, if you look at all the all the artists, everybody came from a camp. Like even like Kendrick or Cole or whoever. Like they still came under mentors that had a Cole that, you know, put a lot of time into it. And now it's like, like you said, you could record some, put it on TikTok. It's viral. Got five hundred thousand videos on TikTok, and a label gonna sign you single deal, now you're doing this, and then now it's done, that's it, you sh they shuffle you, and that's it, and they go into the next viral sound, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like with me, I don't really get caught up in that, like, but some of the sounds, shit just go viral. Let you me know tell you, saying? it's so crazy that, it's so, when you say that, it's, just, it, you know, I, I hate to use this term because ain't nobody is anybody, but you know anybody could put out a song. Right. Anyway, so with that said, it's so simple, it's so easy that I was actually, I found myself looking for people that I ain't seen in a long time, you know what I mean, like years, mm -hmm. but I still remember their full name or something like that. And all of those people I was looking for, all I had to do was all, literally all of them were rappers now, including like my stepsister. <laughs> Shout her out. <laughs> no, because it's like, it, it, it looks so easy. It's like, oh, yeah. you don't even got to be... And, and crazy talented or you ain't got to be saying you ain't got to think too much but it's like for the people that still like like i i gotta think i want to yes. sit and think all yes. day because this shit really means a lot to me you know what i'm saying and you want to really be impactful and i know like to be here and be like damn 10 years 20 years 30 years it's like you know? i read a i read a depressing a, a, a depressing quote or two from someone um that i respect a lot in music and hip hop period and music period, and they they were asked, you know, like why you ain't been doing, you know, music or whatever, and they was like, man, like what I'ma talk about? It was like, you know, like what I'ma what I'm what I'ma talk about? I'm in my forties, like uh, like what am I gonna talk about? Like, cause you wanna know about me being what I do, and I'm you wanna know about what I'm doing, what, about the life I'm living at this this age and the things I'm doing. It like, what am I supposed to talk about? I was like, wow, that was so different. Like, I have everything to talk about. I feel like that's why you got to stay in it, though, too. I feel like you can't be too far removed. I also thought that I thought that may be a downfall by staying in it because you may, at our age, you may hear what's going on and feel like, I'm so out of that, that I can't, I ain't about to drop nothing. I don't, I'm, mm. I'm not about to. <laughs> so you probably, so that's why I say I don't listen. I just go in my little hole. It's true to you, though. Yeah. And it's just, I love what I do, yeah. put it out, and hope for, swing for the fences, man. I mean, when it comes to them verses and them features, you already know. It's a certain, I, I admit, it's a, it's, a, it's a me that I turn on for features that I do not know sure. what the hell goes on. Sure. I don't know that guy, just know that he always comes through. I know when it comes to me, whenever I sing you songs, I'm very selective. And I'm like, cause I just know, like, he, this, this going to... This is gonna this one this one right here is gonna uh, spark some shit. This yeah. is gonna wake. Oh, this gonna, sure. He gonna be like, you know what? Yeah, today I chose that today. I chose violence today. <laughs> so I'm a uh, yeah, you know. So I try to find those songs that you just know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I think me being my me being me featuring on someone's song and, and killing the verses just as sure as this man putting a hit out <laughs> a crazy single that is just as sure as that man. For real, what Snoop said, these motherfuckers right here, we don't miss, man.